Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jay Ganosa Productions. I'm here to give you a tutorial of the Adobe Acrobat 8 Professional. Um, in this video, I'm just going to show you the basic part of Adobe Acrobat. Just letting everybody know that Adobe Acrobat is not for design or to create a layout of your page. Uh, Adobe Acrobat Professional is just to convert your images like uh, JPEG, pictures, or Word documents or Excel sheets into a PDF. A uh, PDF is a portable document format and is a standard image document for um, all over the world. Everybody uses PDFs nowadays. Every computer that you purchase usually comes with the Adobe Acrobat Reader and uh, it's very important to have a PDF reader in your computer because most of the uh, standard industries carry PDFs and even if you're going to schools or purchase some ebooks a lot of people have written important information into a PDF format so let's click here and uh, the first step here if you look at here is to create a PDF from a file this is a simple this is really simplex here that you, all you have to do is um look for the uh, file look for the document this is a single conversion here all we're going to do is just convert this word document into a pdf and that's going to happen right now so i'm just going to pause it real quick and um it will load up okay as you can see here that the adobe acrobat has already saved my um my word document into a PDF and that's mainly it for this part you know it's pretty simple um, you could add additional more pages by adding from file or you can combine some other pages well you, you know you could uh... Well, this we could do that later this is for a more advanced version but that's mainly it for right now so now when we go back here to the menu let's go to create PDF from multiple files now you can add files individually or you can add it per folder when you add it per file you could add pictures excel sheets anything you want from each individual file or if you want to make it simple you want to do it in a prehand meaning that you could put all your documents before into one single folder and all you have to do is just click on this click in this folder let's see like this folder here let's say if I, have, I have all my documents in there and I just press OK and it automatically converts all those documents in that folder into a PDF but for right now I'm just gonna do the single file and um, I'm just going to press control on my keyboard and select these three well, this one's an Excel sheet this one's a picture and this one's a word from the test that I just did recently and just add file and go to next and create it's automatically going to create each document into a PDF and then it's going to merge them all together into one PDF you guys don't have to worry about it get worried about anything because um, a lot of people have asked me that since this Adobe Acrobat is saving these into a PDF that means it's going to be wasting a lot of space making each one of these a PDF and I said no it's not it's just creating a PDF for now and then it's gonna merge them all together it's not gonna save each individual one as a PDF so just waiting for this to finish up as you can see I have a happy face there and it's been successfully done so all I have to do is press save and I just right here test and I press save and it's saved and that's it and you can see here all my three documents have combined together And that's mainly it. And this is a pretty good product. Okay, and okay, let's go back here. Now, this is what I like about this is what I like about this create PDF from a scanner. Very important. When you have, if you are a college student or lawyers or doctors, anybody that has lost a digital format and you only have a hard copy of a report this is great tool right here a very great tool right here why text recognition and metadata I think I said that right <laughs> make searchable run OCR should be checked 
and make accessible check. The reason why I say this is a very important tool is because as I said, what if you lost a CD or a floppy disk and all you have is a hard copy on your hand and you have to rewrite or edit the report and it could be a 10 to 20 page report. Scan it. All you got to do is scan your report. Once you scan your report, Adobe Acrobat will search and run the OC, OCR convert your text from your page into a regular digital text on your computer. That means that anything that you've written on your paper, you scan it and Adobe Acrobat will identify each single letter in that report and you'll convert it into a text format into your computer. That way you'll be able to copy and paste it back into Word and you'll be able to edit your report or add to your report. That's the best part about this tool is that it converts scanned documents into a digital text format. And I believe it's a very important tool, especially for people from college students to doctors and law firms that lost their disk or floppy disk. Because the only thing they have is just their um, or the hard copy paper on their hands this is a great tool and I believe this is very important so that's what I like about Adobe Acrobat here so I just cancel this and create a PDF from your website is actually getting an image from your website and turning it into a PDF and that's mainly it this is just the basic part of uh, Adobe Acrobat this is all I'm going to talk about for this video I'll be making more videos going into advanced mode and uh, talking about the rest of these other um, other stuff here in for Adobe Acrobat that I believe that is very important. Um, but I would like to show you some other things here too for one last thing before I let you guys go. I'm going to go into a Word. I'm going to open up a document in Word. And one of the best things about having Adobe Acrobat Professional is that let's say you run out of ink from your printer and you, you need to print something important you know maybe you paid a bill and you need to you need to print out the confirmation number and uh, you need to print out anything all you have to do is just go to print of course you have your printer here which I have the Canon all I have to do is just change it into a PDF because it automatically installs. When you install Adobe Acrobat, you install the Adobe PDF printer too. Once you press that, you just press OK and it automatically saves it as a PDF. It's that simple. That's it. So instead of you wasting paper and ink, you can save your documents, printed documents, into a PDF. Also, um, yeah, that's it. That's mainly it. So, in my other tutorials, I will show you how to create a PDF, meaning design a PDF, uh, how to put pictures in it, and how to put audio, and how to put your PowerPoint in there. You could actually put video in your PDFs. This is, this, this is a really great software, and other softwares don't do these. I mean, because there's some other softwares that, yeah, you know, you could create PDFs from other softwares for low price and everything, but... Adobe Acrobat, you could add video, audio, PowerPoints, Excel sheets, graphs, anything you want. This is this is a really, really great tool. And I will show you these in my other tutorials because I have to make this video short as for a really, you know, time consuming at the moment. So I want to thank everybody for uh, watching this video. If you have any any other information or if you need information you can contact me at jganosaproductions.com uh, or yeah you could actually go to my website www.jganosaproductions.com or you could type contact us at at jganosaproductions.com uh, this is mainly it so thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon thanks